So I said, it's not the pants, it's me. What's up you guys, it's your girl Taylor and I'm back with another video. I am literally um, shooting this haul for the second time around. My camera was, it was just, it was being temperamental the first time that I tried to shoot this video and I shot it weeks ago and then when I looked at the footage I was like uh uh it's too blurry it's, it's not acting right but today's video is a shopping haul from Fashion Nova and please let me know in the comments how you guys feel about Fashion Nova because I don't know if it's like getting played out or not I still go and look on there because the prices are still good and if I see something really cute that I like I can buy it but I really prefer like Zara um, and to be honest with you pretty little thing I really like um, mostly not necessarily because of the quality but because I can get what I want I can get it fast I can get my actual money back instead of a store credit um, their customer service is also really great um, whether you're like chatting or whether you're emailing um, I like pretty little thing let me know in the comments just how you feel about Fashion Nova and if there are any other fast fashion brands that you like please drop them in the comment section below because I would love to check them out but so far I think that as far as fast fashion I shop White Fox which to me is so similar to Fashion Nova, except you don't get your stuff nearly as fast, but you get a store credit. Um, I like Pretty Little Thing, obviously, again, because their return policy and just their policy in general is so great. Their customer service is great to be such a big company. And believe it or not, Shein all has really stepped its game up. I first started shopping with Shein in 2012, and back then it was like a one size fits all. If you had to return something, you had to send it all the way back to China, it was impossible. But Shein's really stepped their game up. Their shipping is fast. Their um, money, like when it comes to returning something, you can get your money back very quickly. I like Shein. They just have a little bit too much of an option for me like I'm I'm very indecisive so having millions and hundreds and thousands of things to choose from is not really my jam so when I see something on Shein like in an advertisement or something that's how they get me if I see something specific that I want to buy I'll just buy it because I'm not one to just like search Shein but yeah sorry for that long ass rant Let's get back into Fashion Nova. But first, um, if you're new to my channel, um, welcome to the family. Hopefully you consider subscribing. I'm normally not this long winded. Okay, that's a fucking lie. Um, but hopefully you enjoy and you wanna, you know, stay in the family and watch some more of my videos. I have a lot of cool content. So let's get right into it. I'm hoping that by the end of the video, I can convince you not to buy this bodysuit. Like, I don't know if I got the wrong size, I don't know what, but this bodysuit, it was really cheap so I can't be like complaining that much, but I just thought it was going to fit so much better and it's like more like a shapewear and it just moves, like literally one false move and this thing's going down like the Titanic, like I feel like the only way for it to somewhat stay is if I tuck it in my strapless bra. And I just don't think that looks as cute. Like I feel like it looks like I tucked it in my bra. So I'll link this down below. And I also got it in peach, like this kind of nude beige peachy color. But like I said, two out of 10, I would not recommend. Do not buy this. The only reason I'm wearing it for the sake of this video is because I want to use it as a top because I did purchase a lot of pants that I want to show you guys. So this is going to be the top that I'm going to be using. So enough of this bodysuit because it's it's literally under the word awful. But these pants on the other hand, I really like these. I believe these are called the Sammy pants. And fun fact, I am 5'5", five five, about 170 pounds maybe 171, 172, something like that. But you know, I'm thick and I'm a self, 
self-proclaimed big booty Judy. That's, you know, what I call myself on my channel. I call you guys my bougie booze, but you know, if you wanna be a big booty Judy, if you identify with that, you can be that. But me, I'm a big booty Judy. And I'm telling you right now, these are a size small. I don't know if you would believe that, but I actually purchased them in a medium and had to return them. So this is how the small looks. Oh my God, you guys, see it already fell down. Just me turning. Literally do not buy this freaking bodysuit. Whatever you do or whatever you don't, don't buy this bodysuit. Okay, um, but these pants, I really like. Um, I feel like the only reason I haven't worn them out in the wild yet is because I am a little bit insecure about my fupa. It's not a huge fupa, but it's enough to make me uncomfortable sometimes. And I want to look like my best and feel super confident when I go out. So I don't really like to wear stuff that like doesn't make me feel that way. But other than that, the pants fit really well. And the reason I haven't returned these too is because I feel like when I wake up in the morning and I try things on when I have a flat stomach, you know how when you're a little bit dehydrated, you know, from sleeping and stuff, these look perfect. So I said, it's not the pants, it's me. Okay, so if I can just work on my gut a little bit, cut down on the sugar, increase my water intake, you know, hit the gym, do a little bit more cardio, I think these will be like a really nice staple in my wardrobe for the fall and for many years to come. So I decided to keep them. Why I decided to get them in chocolate brown is because I feel like brown really looks good on me and it's been my favorite color to wear in the fall. A lot of you know my favorite color of all time is Kelly Green right now. Um, I'm literally obsessed with that color. But I can't deny that I just think chocolate brown looks so good on brown skin women, black women in general. And even though I'm some kind of interesting color between beige and yellow and some shade of brown, I still think chocolate, <laughs> chocolate brown looks good on me. So these are stretchy. If you have thick thighs that rub together, people will hear you from a mile away. It literally sounds like rubber but hopefully your thighs don't rub together as much as mine. But they had these in multiple colors, but again, I chose chocolate brown. Um, and I will confidently say that after having these, I would buy them in a lot of the other colors they had, especially, you know, black is like a staple. I would buy black, but I saw a blue, I believe that they had, and I really liked the blue. So I would consider buying the blue. And if I can rate these, I think I would give these like, to be honest with you, I'm not a huge fan of faux pockets. So I think I'll give these a nine out of 10 as opposed to just a 10 out of 10. But only because I'm not super confident in them right now. And I'm not a huge fan of faux pockets, even though they do smooth things out. So let me know in the comments what you think about these, but I really like them. Just remember that if you do buy these, size down because again I'm almost 172 pounds and I purchased a small so if you do want things to fit tight and skinny jeans are not supposed to be unbearable but they're supposed to fit snugly so keep that in mind let me show you the next thing another pair of skinny jeans okay, so these are also skinny jeans I really bought them because I needed that void filled in my closet and I did not have black skinny jeans that were not faded um, and looked gray. I don't know how these are gonna hold up, but I do feel like it's inevitable that black jeans turn some shade of gray. You know, like either they turn gray or that like when you wash them, they get like white chalky residue from your soap or something, I don't know. So I don't know how these are gonna turn out, but Hopefully I can at least get a few words out of them before they start acting crazy. So I will say about these, I must have lost a few pounds or so because I do feel like I looked a little bit better in those chocolate brown skinny jeans than I normally do. And the same for these because usually these are a little, these were kind of tight in the waist. And that was gonna be a con that I was gonna bring up 
like unless you have a super hourglass figure or got a bbl or something and your waist is super tiny like your hip to waist ratio is very small i don't know if i would recommend these because i felt like these were like very tight in the waist area but for some reason it's not today which leads me to believe that maybe my working out has i'm reaping some of the benefits because i feel pretty comfortable in this i'm not gonna lie okay i can i can deal with this so these are super stretchy i really like them they're very soft as well um, they do have the faux pockets. I told you guys I'm not a huge fan of faux pockets, but I will say that faux pockets really allows for like a seamless, you know, smooth look as far as like your midsection goes. So that's really one plus out of them. And I'll get a little bit closer. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's kind of like, there's like a little seam here. So these aren't just like your normal jean in the back. It does have a little bit of a design here. I don't, I don't know what to call that. I'm not really sure what the exact term for that is called, but you know, it adds a little bit of flair. You do have two pockets in the back. Um, aside from the waist just being very small, I think I would definitely recommend these pants to you guys. Like, um, you know me, I'm gonna show you everything and just be honest um, in my review, but these I would definitely recommend, especially if you are a person that struggles with having things fit your waist. If you have a very small waist compared to your hips, I think I would recommend these pants to you. But don't be nervous. Like I, I think that this really is a pant for everybody because it's so stretchy. But just know on some days, especially after eating a meal or something, you might, you might be like, oh, I don't know. Okay. And the fact that these fit me when I just ate a whole dinner, I just came back from, you know, dinner with the girls and these fit me means I think I'm doing something right in the gym. Okay, let's get into the next thing. You know what? Before I get into the rest of the pants, I do want to show you this coat since like I'm wearing an outfit that would be great for the coat. You see this thing starting to slip down again? You see it, right? You see it. Oh! Do not buy this freaking bodysuit. Have a drink every time I say that because I will be saying that a little bit more, I'm sure. Y'all, this coat is so cute. Oh my God. Sorry, God, did not mean that like that. This coat is, I don't know. I felt like it was giving a little bit more expensive than it actually was. I think all in, I got this on some sort of promotion. I think I paid either between $45 and $55 for it. And I really like it because when I was younger, I loved Houndstooth, which is this print here. And I feel like as an adult, I have a hard time like finding prints that I actually like. I tend to go between like stripes, like, you know, that kind of Beetlejuice black and white, or like, you know, an, an army, navy fatigue or something like that. So, Houndstooth, I feel like is a print that I can really get jiggy with as an adult. And this was like really large and oversized, which I felt made it look a little bit more upscale, a little bit more upper echelon. So for the price and just the fact that I live in Texas and don't need something super heavy, I was very pleased with this. So I will tell you it is extremely oversized. I'm wearing a size small. Even though, again, I told you, I am not a small frame woman. I've been thick for many years now. Again, 5'5", 172 pounds, thicky, thicky, thick. I fluctuate, you know, in size um, as far as like what to buy and how I want things to fit. But for the most part, I find myself between a medium and a large consistently. So me buying a small and this still fitting how it fits should tell you to size down, okay? Um, I want to say this is maybe like polyester or something. Let's see what the material is. If I can find it. I have no idea what this is. Oh, it's at the bottom. So this material is literally 100% polyester. But for some reason, it's not giving that cheapy stiffness that 
you usually get from like polyester. So that's why I feel 100% confident recommending, oh my gosh, do not buy this freaking bodysuit. Um, I feel 100% confident recommending it to you guys just because it, it just does not look cheap. And I know that that's a fear a lot of people have when they purchase fast fashion, but I do want to do a video on this on like how to buy things that look expensive especially if you don't have the budget because I'm really the queen of doing that I can mix in highs and lows but I also have a really good way of like making things that were you know inexpensive affordable look upscale most of it probably has to do with how I carry myself and the fact that like I'm a top tier woman but that's also something that I would like to get into in a video so let me know in the comments if you would be interested in that but um back to this coat i do love that it has like very deep pockets and they're real pockets not faux pockets i literally have to wear this soon this is a great fall coat and again a great coat for here in austin texas because it it does get very cold here like you know it can get in you know the tens uh, 15 type degrees but very rare i say for the most part when it's cold it's kind of anywhere between like the 50s and 40s so this is a perfect coat for that so i just wanted to show you guys this before um i put on some more baggy pants let's get into these pants okay let me know how you guys feel about mom jeans because me personally i like mom jeans but they don't fit me the way that they are supposed to fit i don't think so because i'm curvy and a little bit more bottom heavy i feel like mom jeans just fit how i would want curvy jeans to be for curvy people whereas i think mom jeans are supposed to be a little bit more looser fitting and give people curves whereas for me they just kind of fit like how i would want my jeans to fit like why aren't all jeans or at least why isn't there always an option to get like a smaller waist and bigger hipped jean on? But I really like these jeans. They do not stretch whatsoever. So I um I think I got these in a size 7. And I really like them. I feel like I've been wearing them like rolled up slightly, but I'm not super committed to that idea. Like you can wear this long and regular and have more of a skinny look, but I liked that they're a little bit loose even though you know they fit really well and I wear them with like my high heels that have a strap and I really like that because normally I don't get to wear those with jeans so I roll them up slightly at the bottom because they're not super skinny they're just like I don't know how to describe it but either way like I said I can roll them up slightly and I can wear my heels the way that I like to wear them and it just gives a loose effortless look so I'm really feeling these mom jeans I think they do have them in like the regular jean like denim blue and I think I would like to buy them if it was the same fabric consistency like the same amount of cotton as this like I'm assuming they would be because this doesn't stretch but I'm not sure but I would recommend these mom jeans like wholeheartedly um, if I can find them, I will link them down below because I get, did get them, you know, quite some time ago. But I love them. And again, they helped fill that void in my closet of not really having a black jean. And because these are already faded, like a more vintage look, I'm not expecting these to stay jet black because they're already faded. And I'm fine with that because how I've been styling them is, again, with like my tall strappy heels that, you know, have a... A strap at the ankle and I really have been loving wearing this with like a graphic tee so a baggy graphic tee tucking it in or you know maybe on the right side or the left side or just completely in the front and leaving the back flowing a little bit I love it to wear with like some big chunky chains some jewelry an expensive bag you know just a little something edgy I I normally wear stuff like this with like my Fendi bag to um, or like my Balenciaga bag, even though I'm really angry with Balenciaga. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's how I've been liking to style things, like with an oversized graphic shirt or just an oversized button down or something like that. I will be doing another video, but I'll show you an example of something that I got from Target. 
Like this is perfect, right? It's my favorite color. It is a size small, but it's very oversized. So this would be perfect to wear with these jeans. Um, what else can I wear? Like I have so many, I love a good button down. Like I purchased it in white as well. And don't be, don't be freaked out. Don't be worried. I will be showing you this. Um, here's another example of something that I would wear. This also should be in either the video before or after this, but this is a shirt that I got from White Fox. It really reminds me of that brand Marnie or even uh, Casablanca, or is it Casablanca? I wanna say it's Casablanca, um, but this is a super baggy shirt. Um, I don't know if I'll be wearing it really as a shirt. I plan on wearing it more as like resort wear um, for, I'm, I'm really speaking into the universe that I'll be able to go to Italy this summer because that's like been my dream for like the past two years or so. I haven't been to Italy in many years. Um, and you know, I wanna wear this as a cover up, but you can see how this could be cute, like half tucked in, half, you know, regular. This is just abnormally long though, so that's the only reason why I, I don't know if I would, but you know, it looks good and maybe we can throw in a little shade action. Not me styling a whole bunch, this is a Fashion Nova video, not me throwing in a whole bunch of other stuff. You know what, I do wanna ask you guys, I know I keep asking you guys to put stuff in the comments, but would you be interested in some styling videos from me? Please let me know in the comments because I've been getting like on my Instagram and stuff, I've been getting a lot of like DMs and like replies to my stories of people being like, oh my gosh, like you really would do well as a stylist or something like that. And I'm like, how could I be a stylist? Like everything I buy is cheap, you know? Who, how am I gonna make any money or commission off of that? But I'm like, shit, maybe I could, I don't know. Let me know in the comments, you know? what you think and what type of videos would you like to see from me like I'm thinking you know I'm a real estate agent shameless plug so if you are in the Austin area and you're looking to buy sell rent here feel free to email me because I do respond to my emails but I think I would do a lot of like workwear business fashion because I am a real estate agent maybe some church ideas if you want to go to church definitely vacation I have actually plan on doing like a maybe like a spring break type video or something like that um you know date nights chill nights dinner all that kind of stuff so let me know if you would be interested in that long story short these jeans are very versatile and 10 out of 10 would recommend okay so let's get into the last pair of pants you guys we're almost done this is the final um pants item I really love these. If I can remember, I will insert a few photos of me wearing these. I wore them the last time I was in New York. I went to the Metropolitan Museum, the Met, and I I believe I wore these with like, I like to put pattern on pattern, and I know for some people that may be a little bit overwhelming, but for me, it just like funkifies things a little bit, adds a little spice. So I wore it with, like this kind of checkered racer print, like what that flag would be like when you go to like a Formula One or like NASCAR or Indy 500, something like that. I wore that type of shirt with it and I really liked it. It was super comfortable. Um, I felt really comfortable in that and I I just always loved camo pants because I, I always have so many things to carry so I actually really love having a ton of pockets and extra pockets. But really I just felt like, again, I was trying to fill a void in my closet. So to get like skinny camo pants um, and that were cargo, hopefully I said cargo earlier because that's what I meant, cargo. But anyway, um, to get skinny legged cargo pants and a camo print was like a dream come true for me. And it came with this really cute like keychain thing that, you know, is removable, but I actually liked that. I feel like it added a little bit of like utility kind of thing. Like it says like weight securing system, 6,500 pounds. It's, you know, it's giving off white a little bit. So I really liked it. And I don't know if you guys are aware, but another color that I really like with camo is orange. Like I think that for me, this is like a neutral. Like even though this is green, beige, black, 
brown. I feel like you can make this totally neutral. So imagine if you had like an orange shirt or a yellow shirt or a red shirt or even a pink, I don't know. Um, I have a really cute bodysuit that I plan to style this with. Hopefully I can do that at some point. Um, but you know, don't be afraid. If you're not really bold like I am, again, don't be afraid to just do a nice little button down or like a little white moment, black nude moment. But I'm a little bit more adventurous than most people when it comes to fashion. So I really like these pants. They don't have pockets in the back though, which I found a little bit weird because it's like they're cargo pants and I'm like the whole point is to have extra pockets. But I think that because they were skinny, maybe whoever designed this or styled this just wanted to accentuate the curves. So, you know, it's nice, you know, showing off a little booty, a little thicky, thick action back there. You know, because I'm a big booty Judy. I've never been, never been afraid of the booty, okay? Never been afraid of the booty. But I really like these and I definitely <laughs> would recommend for you guys to go check them out and consider buying them. And at the bottom, they are like a little bit stretchy, kind of like a jogger, which leads me to believe that they can get a little bit longer. You know, if you're a tall girl, again, I'm 5'5", but I think these are kind of tall girl friendly. And they give you the option if you want to, to kind of like wear them up a little bit or something. I wouldn't really do that. I'm not really like an, an ankle type showy person again unless my heels are strappy and i want to show off my heels but still wear a jean so to each their own but again i really would recommend these pants i do want to let you know though that they are stretchy so even though they don't fit super duper tight like they're still a little bit baggy for a skinny they are stretchy so find comfort in knowing that if you do want something a little bit more snug these do stretch and I just feel like overall, this is just giving exactly what I needed. I do feel like I now I, I need a pair of baggy cargo pants that are in this color, but I just purchased some um, cargo pants from Target that either, again, you will have seen in a previous video or maybe a video after this. And I feel like this is actually doing a lot of what I really need. If they had had this in army print, I would have been all over it. But until I'm not like super pressed for that. If I find it, I find it. If I don't, I don't. If I wanted it, I'm sure I could find something like it on Fashion Nova. So yeah. Okay, you guys, let's get into the last few items. You guys, this is the final clothing item. I. This is probably arguably one of my favorite items, if not my favorite item, aside from this gorgeous coat. I love this and I've worn it before and I got so many compliments on it. So it's slinky, it's ch chocolatey brown and I, I told you guys I'm having a moment with chocolate brown right now for the winter, you know, fall. It's split at the ankles. That's also one of my favorite style of pants. I have so many pants that have this kind of split design either right at the ankle, maybe at the calf, and maybe even at the side of the ankle. I love it. It's super stretchy. Um, Big Booty Judy approved. <laughs> um, it's strapless, so again, super you know showy in the chest area, super showy in the back area, super showy you know, for my arms, and I told you guys, I do like to show off my arms. Um, it helps a little bit with my confidence. And I just love how this fits. It's not super tight. It's comfortable. I feel like a million bucks in it. It really just gives me like the curve. It, it, it really accentuates my curves. Like, look at this. I love it. And I like to just wear it with a simple heel. I don't like to even do too much jewelry or anything. I love how it's just minimal. And actually, to be so form-fitting, I still feel like it's really classy. Like, I wore this to a concert, like a bougie concert, you know, one of those where you would actually sit down. And I got so many compliments. And I remember feeling so sexy. If I have any pictures, I will insert them here. 
but I just remember feeling so sexy and like it was a subtle sexy like I wasn't doing too much but I was still getting a lot of attention because I looked classy despite wearing something so tight and form-fitting I I think the subtle touches of like the um, split at the ankle I don't know if you guys can see it but it also has like a seam going down the middle and it just I think I got this for under $30 I might have even gotten it for under $25 and when I tell you it just doesn't fit or feel like it's that inexpensive so I would say run don't walk and get this and if I can still find it I will link it down below I hope I still have the tag because I purchased this quite a while ago I don't even know if it's still in my purchase history but I will look for the sake of you guys and if not I'm just gonna search like brown jumpsuit or something to see if I can get it but yeah I absolutely adore this I I, it has so many elements that I'm just obsessed with again the color the split at the ankle the fit of it all like no gapping at the back I love it is it's just big booty Judy approved okay so that's enough for that jumpsuit so you guys have made it to the final few items and I'm gonna show them because they're not close oh my battery's about to die do I have another charged battery give me a second Okay, we're back with a fresh battery. So, the last few items I wanted to get into aren't clothing items, they're more so accessories. So, another thing that I would like to add to the hell no, don't buy this, is this hat. When I tell you, I almost wish I could insert a picture. If I can find one, I will insert a picture of how this hat is supposed to look like. What do you think these are supposed to be on here? They're supposed to be teddy bears. I'm sure you can see like some remnants of them, but there is not one place on this damn hat where you can see a full teddy bear, okay? You can see the head here, you can see the legs here, you can see the, there's no, not one area where it looks like a full teddy bear. And I feel like it gives off maybe like cow like spots or something. I don't know but it just it's not and obviously I can't wear it with um, I really wish they did have a larger size too so I could wear it when I wear my twist not just when I have like my natural hair or like a weave or a wig or something but it, it could have been so great like it's Sherpa material it's very light it would have been nice for the winter it would have been so cute so trendy and it just was a fail so I wouldn't necessarily recommend this at all. There's not one place where there's a full teddy bear and anybody can make out exactly what this is, but it would have been so cute if there were like big teddy bears all over this. A waste. Um, next, I do have this item. I love scarves, you guys. I don't know if I talk about my love of scarves enough, but I specifically love like luxury silk scarves. Um, you know, Dolce & Gabbana, Moschino, Chanel, all that kind of stuff. I don't have all of that. I do have a Dolce & Gabbana and a Moschino scarf. But I just love scarves because there's just so many different ways that you can wear scarves. Like you, a big scarf you can wear like as a shirt. You can, you know, almost wear it like as a little bandeau top. Um, I personally like to wear my larger scarves kind of like tied at like this. This one isn't really large enough for me to want to do it even though this is really cute and I love the different shades of like neutral colors that are on it but I'm not sure if I would wear this um, scarf like this even though it does seem to be kind of doing a little something something. I think maybe if anything I might wear it more like at the neck like this you know um or kind of like um tied at the neck more like that you know something like that like camp counselor style or even at the side here um but i feel like i would mostly wear it um, 
See, this is a little too silky. I don't know if this is gonna work. Oh no. I have makeup on. I don't know if this is gonna get. I think I would wear it more like that. Yeah, like for me, that's kind of cute. What do you guys think? I'm trying to like kneel down so you guys can see. Um, I don't have Megan knees like I used to. Oh, I realize I can just kind of sit down and show you guys like this. So I love something like this and I would maybe match it with like some cute shades. Um, I don't have like my Balenciaga shades with me right now because I don't feel like walking over to my closet to get them. But just imagine, I love like a good beach look and I feel like sometimes your scalp can get like burned when you're in the sun too long. So I love a good scarf to protect my scalp because I have sunblock for my face and you know, my body skin, but there's not a lot to protect your scalp. So if you're not really like super a hat person, I definitely recommend a scarf, but you gotta bougie it up with some like really nice sunglasses. So, um, this scarf, I believe, was only maybe $7.99 or $8. And of course, you know what? My ass used a promo code, but I feel like it looks like real silk. And it's just super, it's just super understated. It's giving a little bit of abstract kind of Picasso. I like it, Picasso. And I cannot wait to wear this. To be honest, it kind of looked cute with this. I liked that, to be honest with you. I think I actually did kind of like the kind of, I don't know what style that is, but it's giving like housewife, like mid-century housewife. I think, I think it's kind of cute. Would you guys wear a scarf like this? Do you think I have too much hair? Um, does it look kind of weird? I just think that I have the face for it, you know? I have a very um, symmetrical face. I get that a lot, to be honest with you. Like if people, like, you know, sometimes I get called cute or pretty or whatever, and I have to like go back to people and I'm like, you know, thank you, but what do you, what do you think makes me cute or pretty? And it's usually if people can actually put their finger on what they like about my face, they say that it's because it's like very symmetrical. So I think a scarf with, you know, you, you have your hair pulled back, you know, minimal jewelry or something, this really can accentuate the features in your face. Um, last item, you guys, we are in the home stretch. It wouldn't be a Fashion Nova haul if I didn't buy some jewelry now. Their, their jewelry is very hit or miss, so. Good luck. But I don't know. I'm not really super into all this stuff. Um, I like how it looks aesthetically. There are some stuff I just don't play with though. Like I remember when I was in high school, like rosaries were super popular, but I'm like, look, I'm Christian. So maybe I could get away with it, but I'm like, I'm not Catholic. So I'm not wearing no rosaries, okay? And the reason why I try to stay away from stuff that either has cultural significance um, or religious significance to people, because I just don't think that's right. I don't feel like people's culture is a costume or trendy. You know, like I remember a few years ago, there was a really big trend of people wearing kimonos, but I just, that didn't sit right with me no matter how cute it looked, I didn't even want a kimono to wear in my house as a robe. I'll buy something that's kimono inspired or style, but I will not wear a, a kimono. Mm -mm. Something that looks too much like a kimono, no. Um, and the rosaries, no. But this, I don't know. Can somebody let me know in the comments if this is okay? Because I feel like this is just more like spiritual in my opinion. But I don't know, what is that? That looks like the Star of David to me. <sighs> Sorry, you guys, my nails are horrible. Like my nails got destroyed. So I'm actually trying to grow them out. Um, 
and I'm not going back to get my nails done ever again because they really they really mess me up like my nails look horrible I'm I'm trying to heal them but can somebody let me know what this hand means or because I don't even know what it's called to do research on it you know what I'm saying like I just before I like wear this as cute and as gorgeous as it is I just want to make sure I'm not like spiritually bringing something into my life that's not positive because even though I'm a Christian I do like I still really do like crystals and stuff like that um but I'm not super familiar with like third eyes and and other stuff like that and I want to make sure I'm not getting into another religion kind of thing without really doing my research and making sure that's like all good but this is how it looks. I used to, I literally have so many um, pieces of jewelry like this because when I was younger, I used to wear a lot of really low cut shirts because I don't really have a lot of boobs and I feel like it was really cute because um, it didn't look super provocative. Like a lot of these items, even though they were like maybe cut down all the way to my navel, it didn't look like hoochie mama to me because you know, I didn't have too much going on there but like this to me this is like is this a third eye is this an evil eye just let me know in the comments if this is okay to wear and if you have any information or you know exactly what this is so I can look it up please let me know in the comments because I would really like to do my research and maybe even buy more like real jewelry associated with this if it's something that I believe in but again, I don't even know what it's called to research it, so. But this is really nice and it's pretty good quality. So if, if you are interested in this, I will try to find it and link it down below. So that's all folks, that's it you guys. Should I get back up? I'm like all up in the camera. That's pretty much everything. I think, I hope I'm not missing anything. No, that's it. Hopefully this is not a video I'm gonna have to re-record again because if I gotta record this a third time, yeah, I'm just not getting this video, okay? So hopefully I have all of the footage that I need and it looks clear and everything when I watch it back. But thank you so much for watching. You know I love you. You know I appreciate you. Again, hopefully you consider joining the family and I hope you enjoyed this video. And guys, please feel free to comment and leave any feedback that you have. But I would really love for you guys to answer some of the questions that I had for you earlier in this video as to like, would you be interested in some styling videos for me? And if so, what would you like to see me do? Like, what do you think I do well that you would like my advice or opinion on? So, um, I guess I already said this, but <laughs> thanks again for coming. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and bye!